Hi, this is my review of the Shure MV88 Digital Stereo Condenser Microphone. It's plugged into the iPad now. Uh, it was delivered by DPD today and I hope it's going to work on my lovely old green iPhone 5C so I can make plenty more videos. Here's the box it came in. As it says, it is suitable for anything with a lightning socket. iPod, iPhone, iPad. And there's the screen we'll talk about a little bit later. It should come with this round plastic seal to make sure it's absolutely new. So here it is, I've opened the box and uh, this is exactly what you find when you open the box. There's the, the sure warranty there and uh, oh, safety precautions and safety instructions, very important those. Okay, so let's dig down a bit further. Right, good cable there by the look of it, not very long but you don't really want long massive cables on this. Now then, let me just put it on, down. down. I see, right, that, that is well packed in there, that, that can't shake about and fall out easy, which is, is good news really, but <laughs> terribly difficult to pull out with one hand. I've seen other people have this uh, one hand problem with reviews, and, and I've had it as well. So there it is, it comes in its case, and uh, it's already, already packed into its protective case there. I'm just loving it. So there it is. I'm going to just go back to taking photographs, right? Because I cannot control the phone while I do this. It comes with this case, which is nice and strong, but it is packed with the windshield on. Uh, now that makes it nice and neat, but I'd like it if the windshield could be packed separately, really. Uh, putting it on and off all the time will no doubt wear the collar out. There's the lightning connector, and there it is over at 90 degrees. You can bend it to any angle. Um, I've actually got it at 90 there, and there it is at about 30 degrees. Um, but you do have to turn it round to face the back. Uh, that's one thing. It, it, it doesn't go all the way. It just goes 90 degrees from straight up and down to pointing towards you or away, depending which way you've plugged it in. There's the lightning connector that makes it really special. Works instantly with uh, any eye device, so to speak. And I'm really pleased with it. So I've unpacked it all and I've uh, plugged the microphone in. I had to take the gel case off the phone to be able to do that actually, which is a little annoying because I want to use it outside, but uh, perhaps I can get a Stanley knife and scrape a bit off the gel case or something. As soon as I plugged it in, it took me straight to the app store, uh, straight to the correct app for the, the Shure Plus Motive. Uh, so I clicked on get and then I clicked on install and now it's loading. So I'll come back when it's loaded. That took probably about five minutes to uh, to download. Not too bad. It's a very slow connection here, so it'll probably download quicker for you. Uh, there we go. That's on the iPhone 5C. It appears to work. Motivate would like to access the microphone. Okay. Pivot. Blah, blah, blah. Right, I shall switch off again because I'm going to need both hands for this, but I shall report. And this screen comes up and uh, walks us through the various settings. Let's see how to set it up. Preset modes, uh, it actually is preset to do certain things uh, better than other things if you use those presets, like there's a vocal one and there's various ones, we'll go into that in a minute. Edit and share, all kinds of things you can do with that. And then we're back to the uh, the app. And you can see just as I'm uh, talking um, in, into, uh, this is actually a, an iPad that I'm using separate to the iPhone. And just as I'm talking there, the mic gain is actually working and doing something. Um, if we slide it uh, upwards a bit, no, not doing very well with that, yep, slide it upwards a bit and it's doing a lot more, bring it back, it doesn't just work from tapping it, okay, let's see, um, da, 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 da. come on, <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that's the app on my touch screen, but uh, it's not very responsive, probably my touch screen because it's an oldish phone, but you can see it's plugged in there, it's working fine, um, I'm hoping, right, that it's going to record my voice a bit better with a bit less of the bass in it because um, it's certainly true that if you mumble into a microphone it'll just make a louder mumble. Uh, it won't make your speech clear. But uh, as I listen to my voice it sort of drops down into the bass a bit more than I want. 
And donkeys years ago when I had a mobile disco, I had a Shure Unidyne B. And that was just my absolute iron horse, right hand mic man type microphone. Took it everywhere with me and it just, it sort of did something with my voice that I liked. So I thought I'd try a Shure one. Anyway, the screen's fading, so I'll crack on with a bit more testing and be right back. I've just gone into the settings menu, there's a few more things you can do. So it's set to light at the moment. Put it on dark. Oh, I don't I think I prefer the light to that really, so I'll go back to light. That way I can at least see it. Keep screen awake while recording. Yes, I think I'm quite happy to do that. <laughs> That's going to be fun if I stop doing it. Analytics, you've got the choice to send or not send, as per always. And um, close that and go straight back to it. And here is a recording I made a second ago. There we are, so I'm testing on the mic now. See what this recording comes out like, and we will also see if I'm actually capable of setting the thing up. But all being well, my voice will sound a little bit more lively uh, this way, and just a bit less bassy, just a bit easier to listen to. Uh, so there you are. You know, it, it, it's really pretty much that simple. That that's only taken me two minutes. I'm going to be very interested to see what this does when I get it set up properly for vocals. And I'm also going to try and do some keyboard recording with it because um, I have another channel on YouTube. It's called Organist of Flanders Sill, which is difficult to spell. Maybe I'll give it a snappier title. But uh, there's just sort of hymn tunes and old music on that that uh, I like to do my bit to keep them alive. And I've um, always enjoyed playing those, those kinds of things. And I've got a vintage organ as well, which was made in the 1960s. Uh, it's a Compton Electro, and there aren't very many of them left. And I'm hoping this microphone is going to pick that up really nicely. Anyway, all you can see at the moment is my hairy fingers and the camera. So at that point, let's move on. And this is the screen it took me to as soon as I plugged the microphone into the phone. Uh, it's a red button to record with there. If you press the three lines at the top, you get settings and about. If you press settings, you get this. Uh, well, I'll talk about that actually in a second in a bit more detail. There's the recordings. You can access them from the wavy line thing at the bottom of the main screen. And here are the different settings. This is vocal and it goes to 60 degrees. Or you can have it on, uh, well, vocal singing. Actually, the last one was vocal speech. Sorry, vocal singing. Uh, you can have it on no entry sign if you want to record a no entry sign it's 90 degrees a uh, guitar 105 degrees and what's the other one I can't remember a picture of a loudspeaker anyway and uh, that's 120 degrees so that is seriously wide a uh, great compact thing when it's plugged in there and here you can see it also plugs into the iPad uh, no problem at all I don't know if you can see that anyway I hope you can and there it is then, the Shure MV88 Digital Stereo Condenser Microphone. Uh, I've done a few test recordings. So far I like the stereo effect actually. It's the way the uh, the microphone is oriented. You can get cheaper versions of this. There's one in particular where there are two microphones and one is pointing the other way. Uh, that seems to be quite a good way of doing it, but I'm very glad I got this. Um, it seems to work great. I've got the windshield on it now. Uh, I did a few tests and that seems to be good. So uh, all in all, I'm very pleased with that. It's going to be plugged into my uh, camera or my phone whenever I'm making a video from now on. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And actually a big thank you to everyone because between my uh, two channels that I've got, the other one is called Organist of Flanders Hill. There's a lot of music on there. Um, in between those two channels, I've actually gone over 20,000 views in the last few days. I hadn't realised that, but uh, I went in and looked today and there it was. So thank you very, very much for your support and I'll be back soon with yet more videos.